In today's video, we're going to be learning about fake news. Fake news is everywhere nowadays. According to the article, Why Do People Share Fake News? It states that, quote, the majority of the people now get their information via social media, end quote. This is quite worrying because social media is one of the biggest transfers for fake news, especially the apps Facebook and Twitter. From the article, who shares the most fake news? She tells the reader that in the first paragraph, quote, Facebook is a more fertile breeding ground for fake news than Twitter, end quote. They also state later in the article that, quote, we have found that Facebook is a central conduit for transfer of fake news, said Hop, end quote. This goes to show that although we get a lot of our information on social media, it does not always mean that it is correct information. One thing that everyone should know is why there is fake news. First, we need to know the definition of fake news. According to dictionary.com, fake news is, quote, false news stories often a sensational nature created to be widely shared or distributed for the purpose of generating revenue or promoting or discrediting a public figure political movement company etc end quote from this definition we know why there is fake news it is a way for people to disagree promote or make other people angry and slash or to strike fear into other people it can also be used as a way to fuel one's beliefs or opinions on a crisis, movement, activity, public figure, etc. Finally, the last thing I would like to touch on is how you identify if a source is fake news or not. The article, How to Spot Real and Fake News, tells us that there are two types of fake news. The first being, quote, stories that aren't true, end quote, and the second being, quote, stories that have some truth but aren't 100% accurate, end quote. To find out if a source is providing real or fake news, we should take a few things into consideration. We should check the source, see who else is reporting the story, examine the evidence, and make sure it sounds right. We should be checking the source to see spelling errors in company names or strange sounding extensions like dot in front and dot offer, rather than dot com or dot co dot uk. Just by looking at the extension of the website or article could mean that we are looking at fake news. If we are still unsure if the news is fake or not, we should see if anybody else is covering the story. If multiple sources are covering the story, then we can infer that it may be true. But we're not done there yet. We should then examine the website, because if the article is real, then according to the article, How to Spot Real and Fake News, quote, a credible news source will include plenty of facts, quotes from experts, survey data, and official statistics, end quote. If the article does not have a lot of information on it, then it might not be the real thing. Finally, just make sure it sounds right. Use your common sense. If the grammar is off and it doesn't make any sense, then it is fake news and you shouldn't be paying attention to it. If you do these things, you will be able to identify real from fake news Plus, it will also help stop spreading the misinformation that no one wants to hear. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on fake news. Hopefully you learned something about how to identify fake news. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.